welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you where I keep my makeup and kind of how I organize it. Basically just to show you guys some ideas on how you can store your makeup and kind of find a way that works for you. So I will just take you right on into All this. right, so you are officially off my tripod. Excuse me if it's a little shaky. I just thought this might be the best way to kind of get really in there and show you um, exactly how I organize everything. So we'll start on just my little desktop here. Um, this is from Ikea and it's all um, kind of got that polished finish on it and I really really wanted that. I didn't just want like a wooden makeup desk because I know makeup gets messy and I wanted something that I can just wipe up really easy. So yeah, I love this one and it has two drawers. So I'll show you what I have in there after so we'll just start on the top. Um, so in the back here I have two containers from HomeSense. I found them actually in the kitchen section. I just have all of my makeup brushes in there. So on the left I have most of my face brushes and on the right I have all of my eye brushes. You can tell some need a serious bath right now. Um, I also have just a white towel for my hands get dirty. This is like a must for me on my makeup desk. My hands are always getting dirty with makeup and I need somewhere to wipe them down. Lots of times I'll just take makeup wipes but towel is nice too. And then I also have um, just a little coaster in case I want like coffee or tea in the morning and just want a safe place to put it. Then in the back corner I just have this little um, picture frame that I got from Urban Outfitters with me and my friend Michaela in it. Super cute! Okay, uh, moving right along, I have a little holder here where I have all of my lip liners. It's honestly not the most practical thing in the world. You can tell like they all just like slide through there nine times out of ten. So I should find something new but for now it looks cute I suppose. And then I just have some of my most used body products. So I have my Everyday Moisturizer on the left there, that Brazilian cream, apparently it tightens, I just like it for the scent. Um, an Origins mask and then some Bath & Body Works lotion. And then I also, up here, hello, clearly I did not get very ready today, so that is me. I have my big round mirror from Ikea, which I really love. Originally I wanted to get um, actually a rectangle one and then I was like, you know what, let's switch it up, let's get a circle and I'm super happy I did, I love the look of it. And I have my little makeup mirror for the up close things and it lights up, got that from Costco. And then I have just two um, lipstick holders where I keep all my MAC um, lipsticks or most of them. I ordered another holder. I just want them all in one place just because I have a few in my little overflow section over there and I'll show you those too. And then, oh wait, I want to show you these tubes. These are my limited edition ones but look at this Mariah Carey tube, you guys. Oh my god, so nice. Okay, in the drawers, um, this one is kind of where I keep like skincare or like the base products. So in this little container here I have all my primers, some YSL, Milk Makeup, Dior, and then an Urban Decay Eye Primer. I have some lashes, um, a Garnier mask, my go-to makeup wipes, Walmart, no name brand, I love them. They are like $12 for four packs of these 60, 60 tablets in there, yeah, they're so good. And then all my mascaras over here. Uh, nothing really special, and then a lip balm, love this one by Dior, it's so expensive but it is really nice. And then an eyelash curler, some hand sanitizer which I really like to use when I'm using my makeup. Oh and I actually have like a spray one which is even better. And then beauty blender, another makeup applicator, and then my little lip mask, that is that. And then the other drawer, um, I have just another organizer, I have some perky roller balls, um, this dusted stuff that I love for giving my hair some volume, some clips, and more hair things back there. Yeah, nothing really too crazy in there. And then I will take you over here. Okay, so this is my tall tower where I keep majority of my makeup. Um, it's called the Alex 9 drawer from Ikea. You guys have probably all seen it if you watch a lot of makeup collection videos. It's awesome. It stores a lot of stuff in there. And the drawers actually are quite nice. Like they slide really well for being like an Ikea build it yourself unit. So yeah, I do really, really recommend it. Um, we'll start on the top. So I just have this little, um, what do you call this? Like a tray from HomeSense where I keep all my perfumes. It was kind of just a bunch on there. And then I have my MAC Fix Plus, which I use on the daily, and then some brush cleanser. And then in the back, I just have a little jewelry holder. And then some plants on the top and some water. And yeah, that's the top of it. And we'll just hop right into the main event here. So top drawer is pretty much my face drawer. Um, I have a lot of foundations. There's some Shiseido, Lancome, MAC, Dior. This is like, oh my god, I laugh at this every time I look at it. It is just way too dark. I don't know what the heck I was thinking when I bought it. Um, MAC setting powder, 
face and body, Smashbox, more MAC, and then this one is kind of like my little brow um, kit, or I don't know, what do you call it? Brow section. Um, there's some Anastasia, more Anastasia, Makeup Forever, um, some MAC in there, a little bit of everything. And then in the back I have some concealers. So there's NARS, Bobbi Brown, lots of MAC, Bare Minerals, what is this, Maybelline I believe. And yeah, just a bunch in there. And then we will move to drawer number two. So drawer number two is blushes. This is um, one of my favorite drawers. This is probably where I started collecting most of my makeup. I just, when I started loving makeup, blush was like the thing I wanted to buy all the time. So yeah, I went on like a MAC blush kick. So this is all my MAC ones over here. Um, there's NARS ones, Anastasia, Tarte, Guerlain. I love this one. It was so expensive, but I do really, really love it. Actually, one of my girlfriends got that for me for Christmas. Then a Chanel one, some more MAC in the back. Actually, this one's like a, they call it a beauty powder, I want to say. It has like an ombre look to it. Pretty cool. Rockin' Republic, Hourglass, Elf, and then a few more drugstore ones back there. And that is the blush drawer. Oh, and I should mention, I actually lined all these drawers. You can see with um, this, I don't even know what to call it. I think it's just called like drawer lining from Walmart and you get a big roll of it and you can just cut it. Just keeps the drawers looking really white. Um, we know accents happen with makeup, they can crack and then you get a big mess in your drawer. So I do really recommend this and then it stops everything from sliding around when you open it. So I, I love that part of it. Um, this one is all of my highlighters. So this one, there's a few like highlighting kits over here, NYX, Becca, and then Anastasia. This is a big one that I use mainly for like body highlighting. Um, Bobbi Brown, Stila, MAC, NARS, and then a bunch of MAC ones in here, Becca, and more MAC. Can you tell I like MAC highlighters? Oh, this Stila one is super cool. I want to show you it. It's like a putty highlighter. Look at that. And yeah, if you like press down in it, it like, see what I mean? It's super cool. All right, moving along. So, drawer number four, we have um, bronzers. So I don't really have a lot I kind of stick to my tried and true favorites. I have my Anastasia contour kits, two of those. Hoola, Marc Jacobs Omega, I love this one, but it cracked and oh my God, it makes the biggest mess ever. It's so sad, it was so expensive and I cracked it, I wanna say like a week after I got it. Um, the Chanel Soleil, or Soleil Tan de Chanel, something like that, love that one. It's almost empty, I need to get another one. Um, this Anastasia contour stick, Arbonne. Uh, drugs, uh, another position formula, I think this is. And then an Australis in the back. So that's a pretty bare drawer. And then next, I have eyeshadows. So, okay, this is odd. Like, it's my fullest drawer, but I use it the least. So, yeah, I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow when I do it. It's super basic, but I guess if I want to get a little creative, I definitely have the supplies to do. So in the front, I have my MAC Paint Pots. Love those. They're just cream shadows. They're very, very long wearing as well. I have some Rockin' Republic ones. MAC Singles that I need to get in my palettes. I have my two MAC palettes right here. And these are two like limited edition. I forget what these are called. What were they called? Mm -hmm. Oh, Electric Cool Eyeshadow. I really, really like them. I wish they were permanent. And then I have just some more singles in here. Stila, Mac, Trina Tarantino. Is that what she was called? Yeah, I don't think that line exists anymore. Um, Laura Mercier, Lisenza ones, and then Clinique. There's kind of a mishmash of things in there. My little milk makeup palette, Modern Renaissance, a Naked palette, and then I have Naked um, 3 and 1 back there. I don't really use Naked 3 ever. I do love the first Naked palette. And yeah, that wraps up my little eye drawer. Next in line, we have just kind of an overflow of lip products. This is what I was talking about, the rest of my MAC ones. There's a bunch in there. Some YSL, Marc Jacobs, Line Crime. It's kind of a mix. And then on the front right, I have some lip glosses. Love these ones from MAC. Um, yeah, there's kind of just a big, um, what do you call this? Oh, this one is Rockin' Republic. It's a pretty old one. I should probably toss that, actually. Oh, this Chanel one's super cool. I'm gonna show you the packaging. It, like, pops up like that. Super cool. And then these are my liquid lipsticks. Lots of Kylie in there. Um, these Shop AOA ones, they were all a dollar, and I absolutely love them. Um, NYX and MAC. And then some lip balms back there. Next drawer, we're moving on down. This is just, um, like, makeup bags that I use, and then this is just an overflow of like eyeliners. Honestly, I like never wear eyeliner, you guys. So 
Mm, yeah, I really shouldn't even have these, but some of them are like unopened. Sometimes I like these like fancy ones. This is like a limited edition blue Mac one. It's actually a really nice color, but only on certain days. And then I have just a hair drawer of my pretty much most used hair products. I use this trash shampoo every day. It's my favorite. I do like some other higher end ones, but I just find like you're spending 30 to $40 on a dry shampoo and I go through them so fast. It's like just a waste of money to me. I mean, I do like them, but this one I got for $7 at Winners and it's the bomb. Moroccan oil, which I can't even use anymore because it stains my blonde hair. I noticed, I didn't even know this was a thing. I felt, I didn't even realize it, but I, every time I used it, my hair looked darker and I was like, this is super weird. And people were like, did you dye your hair darker? And I'm like, no. And then I read up on it and this totally stains your hair. And I even got the light one. So it's basically a full bottle. I just need to sell it to someone with darker hair because it's an amazing product. And then more hairspray and hair stuff back there. Then the very bottom drawer, I have just my hair tools. Oh my God, this looks like a big black mess. <laughs> so there's a um, hair dryer, flat iron somewhere in there. Um, my like curling wand that I use a lot. And then a triple barrel. Shout out to you 90s babies. I know you all have one. <laughs> but yeah, that wraps up my little makeup collection video. Hope you enjoyed it and got a few ideas on what you'd want to do for your own collection. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Thank you.